tourist photography uh, has been highly neglected by photographic researchers and also was not shown um, for a long time in museums. It was in, in 1894 that Stieglitz saw the first print of Heinrich Kühl. Alfred Stieglitz decided that one of his first exhibitions in his gallery here in New York, the 291 gallery at Broadway, he would uh, show these images by Kühn and his friends because this way he thought he could uh, influence the New York audience to, to, to comprehend that photography might be a technique that you can use as an artist. Working together with Street Kids for different international exhibitions, uh, Kühn also made the acquaintance of, of um, Edward Steichen. And there was a culmination point, if you want, with images with an incredible, dramatic sky, with clouds, uh, white and shadowy, and the wind blowing through the trees. And then you can see the big white clouds by Steichen, and you can clearly see how the young Steichen was impressed by this incredible print that he saw before doing uh, his own work. It was very clearly uh, uh, a giving and taking all the time. Art um, was important for the family and uh, he was always interested in art, but he studied uh, medical sciences. This is where he really started to, to take photographs. There were many people who said photography can either be scientific or artistic, but to produce art you have to have a very precise knowledge of the technique of photography. And this is where the scientific training of Kühn comes in. And this is why he made the best prints in art photography, because they were very complicated. But there is another side of Kühn. He was an enthusiastic mountain climber. He joined um, a group of young uh, people, mostly of bourgeois and aristocratic in, in Tyrol that was called Wilde Bande, Wild Band. And only then he met the people from the Viennese Camera Club. And then he decided that this gigantic mountain landscape is not what is important in art of the days. So the intimate landscape became his issue only afterwards. Between 1904 and 1906, there was a big change in Kühn's life, and I think not by chance, also in his work. Heinrich Kühn saw in the American photographers that uh, figure studies could be a very, very interesting topic. Kühn's wife died in 1905. A young English woman called Mary Warner joined the family, becoming the very, very loved Mamai of the children. If you look at the portraits and studies, especially the nudes that Kühn made of uh, Mary Warner, you, you are ready to believe what Lotte told me, that Heinrich Kühn and Mary Warner became a couple of lovers. I think that it's not by chance that there is new interest in this old and for a long time old-fashioned photographs. My name is Renee Price and I'm the director of the Neue Gallery New York. We're here to discuss our new exhibition Heinrich Kühn and his American Circle, Alfred Stieglitz and Edward Steichen. The exhibition will be on from April 26th until August 27th, 2012.